Hi everybody, my name is Ashley and I'm from the Oakland University Writing Center and today I'd like to show you a little trick I learned as far as organizing tabs in Google Chrome. So a lot of us, especially working on different papers for different classes or different projects, we're going to be doing a lot of research, a lot of Googling of things, and we want to save all of those sources we find or websites that we find for our projects and our papers but it may look like we have a dozen or even more tabs open in one uh, window at a time. And that just gets a little hard for organization purposes and finding what you're looking for. So a good trick is to actually make folders on your bookmarks tab. You may have some bookmarks already in place, but the folders really do help with organization for different topics and different classes. So what you want to do is you actually want to open a new tab and you'll see that I have my bookmarks bar open here on the bottom. If not, you just go to the three dots in the upper right hand corner, go to bookmarks and then show bookmarks bar. So now that I have my bookmarks bar open, what you want to do is you actually want to right click on it and you'll see some different options here. And the one you're looking for is add folder. So we're going to click on that and you get to title it whatever you want. So for right now, I'm just going to label it citation. Then you're gonna click save, and you'll notice that my folder has now appeared and my bookmarks bar. Now to add websites to your different folders, you're going to go to the website. So I'm going to save for APA citation. So I wanna look for and save the general format and also the sample paper, because I think that'll help me in my class later in the semester. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the website address at the top, you're going to highlight it, then you're going to hold it down with your mouse, drag it to the new tab, and then continue holding and drag it until you see that your folder is highlighted. So I'm gonna drop it in to citation. I'll do the same thing for the sample paper website. Again, you're going to highlight it, drag it to your new tab, drag it and drop into your folder. Now you see that when I hover and click on my citation folder, I have both websites saved in there. So you can imagine how it would be a lot easier having a couple different folders on your bookmarks bar rather than a million tabs open in your window. So in order to, let's say, I open my computer for the day, I'm exiting out everything and I get my open screen as you can see it will save the folder for you what you're going to do say i want to finish up and fine tune my paper i want to check my citation so i'm going to go to my citation folder because i know that that's where all my resources are i'm going to right click on the folder and i have a few options i can open all of the websites that i have in that folder in this window i can also open it in a new window or i can open it in an incognito window right now for this video I'm just going to open all of them and you can see right away at the top here that I have both sites open so I can reference my APA citation and take a look at the APA sample paper and you can feel free to add as many folders as you want here but it's a great way to stay organized so you don't have so many tabs open at once in your window so I hope this helps you guys get a little bit more organized for your semester ahead and come back and see us for more tips and tricks as far as organization on Google Chrome. Have a great day.